here's a quick tutorial for using Zoom on your iPad. First thing you need to do is tap on the Zoom icon and it should bring up a window like this. And you're gonna go ahead and join a meeting and that meeting should be something that your teacher has shared with you. And you can type in the number. Don't type this one because each meeting is unique. And here you can go ahead and type in your name. Make sure you put your real name and you don't have to put your last name, your teachers already know you. So you go ahead and tap on join and it may ask you for a code and your teacher should have given you that as well. So I'll go ahead and type that one in. And then it should open up the meeting. Uh, forgot about this. So you want to say join with video. And now you might see this screen, something like this. And that's because you are waiting for your teacher to approve you to come in. And so the teacher is going to go ahead and admit me into the chat. And if you get this, I'm going to call using internet audio. That means my built-in audio. Now there's my, now there's teacher. my teacher. And, and sorry about sorry that. About We're getting that. a little bit of little echo. Bit of echo. Okay, I decided to go ahead and switch to some earbuds so I don't have that big echo. And I want to just go through some of the controls that you have. Now, notice you're down here in the bottom and you can make yourself a little bit. You can expand that so you can see both like that. And what you'll see in the center is you'll see whoever's speaking. Now, of course, the, uh, the cardboard head is not going to speak. Um, but when you tap on the screen, you'll get some other different options. So I can switch to a gallery view, which shows all the people that can fit on the screen in one thing. I can go back and to this to this view, and I can also do it like I can get rid of that totally if I want to. But I think it's a good idea to be able to see yourself because then you know what you're doing. Notice um, when I tap again, there's the, some things that come down. There's the I have muted my video my audio which is a good idea whenever you're in a meeting. Right now it's unmuted, but um, I think it's a good idea for you to keep it muted until you're needed. You can also turn off the video, which you probably wouldn't want to do because your teacher wants to see your lovely face. And you don't need to do anything with share content. Here in participants, you can see who is in the call. And it also gives you some other options. If you want to raise your hand, you can tap on that. And you can see the little hand that lets your teacher know that you have a question. You can answer yes or no to different questions. And there's some other things like you can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can do applause. I'm not sure why you would do coffee or the clock, but you could do those as well. Uh, I wouldn't tap on chat unless you're asked to, and the chat will look like this. And if you are in the chat, you should be sending something to everyone. But to be honest, you're probably going to miss some things if you are in the chat. You want to be seeing what's going on. Something else you can do is if you tap on those three, the other three more buttons, notice you can just do a really quick applause or a thumbs up. There's also another way to get into the chat. You could also go into meeting settings, which is something that you probably won't have an option for. Uh, you should not be doing virtual background. And um, of course, you're not going to disconnect your audio. When you're all done, you can, and the meet and the and the class is over, you can go ahead and tap on Leave Meeting, and that will close you out, and you will no longer be in. I'll put you back to this screen. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions, just go ahead and let your teacher know, and we'll do our best to answer those.